This is the year 2020. The place is the Challenger Seamount, the top of an underwater mountain. A complex beneath the sea. 250 men, women, and children live here, each of them a scientist pioneer. For this is our last frontier, a hostile environment which may hold the key to tomorrow. Each day, these oceanauts meet new challenges as they build their city beneath the sea. This is Sea Lab 2020. Stanhope, this is Sea Lab. We've lost contact again, Captain Murphy. They're having a rough time on the surface, Sparks. We can't take much more of this, Captain. Stay alert, Jones. I'm going to check with communications. Yes, sir. They're coming in again. Sea Lab, this is Stanhope. Captain Madden, standing by. See if you can get him on the screen. Coming in, sir. Captain Murphy. If I stay on mooring, my ship will founder. The storm is building. I understand, Captain. Do what you have to do. Yeah, sorry we didn't get a chance to unload your supplies. A short delay won't matter. We'll be back after the storm passes. Good luck. Thank you. Captain Madden to the bridge. Yes, sir. Mr. Jones, cast off the mooring. Aye, sir. Get some slack in this line. Pressure drop alarm. It's a red alert, Sparks. What's the red alert on for, Mrs. Thomas? We'll know soon enough if it's anything serious. Maybe it's only a test. Keep on working, class. Wilbur, I'd better get to the bridge and check with the captain. I'll talk to you later about whatever it was you wanted to discuss. I think we've got a major problem elsewhere. Continue with your assignment. That alert means we better check fast and find out what this is all about. I wonder what that dull thud was just before the alarm, Gail. It sounded like something hit Sea Lab. Attention all sections, attention all sections. Stand by for emergency action. What happened, Captain? The entire structure shuddered. Sea Lab has been hit. Lookout said the ship's concrete mooring bashed Unit 3. Repair crew, report damage to bridge. One entire section is cracked, sir. We're losing air fast through that crack in the wall. The meters show that pressure is dropping at a dangerous rate. The moon pool is overflowing. Seal off all passageway entrances until we can build up enough pressure to force out the water. Ready at the air storage cylinders, Grayson? Yes, sir. Activate. We'll have to keep the air pressure up until the brake is repaired. Aye, sir. I don't want to be an alarmist, Captain, but we're in very serious trouble. The air pressure will keep the sea out. Only as long as the air lasts. Yeah, and if the crack doesn't widen. That's what worries me. It could split like an eggshell under this water pressure. Murphy to converter section. Converter section. We're going to need more oxygen as a backup for our tank supply. Whenever you're ready, Captain, I can extract as much oxygen from seawater as you want. We're ready now. Give us full capacity. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah, the sacking should help plug the leak inside until it's welded. Repair, foreman. I don't want any delays in that welding. No delays, understand? Well, there's no cause for panic yet. Mm. I've sent my assistants out to brief the various sections on the situation. Well, the children are all right, Paul. Gail is on her way to the school now. Hello, Gail. Hello, Mrs. Thomas. Class, you have 10 minutes to finish the history quiz. Then comes a test on outer space. Go. How can I concentrate on outer space when there's so much going on down here? Let me see now. Rings of Saturn, 
How long do we stay in business? Forever, we hope. The captain wants you to keep the class going. Tell him not to worry. I'll see their minds are occupied. Dr. Williams says to just keep a lid on the kids. Don't let them run around and use up air. They're already asking questions, but we've got a lot of projects to keep them settled down. Converter section, we can't wait. Push units to full capacity and keep them going. Sea Lab to Shore Base One. Sea Lab to Shore Base One. Come in. No contact, Wilbur? Nope. Sparks wants me to keep in touch with all the shore bases. That must be some storm up there. It sure is. That storm's a hurricane. Trees. Trees? What do you mean? Green grass and trees and live flowers. How long since you walked on grass, Hal? Nine or ten months, I guess. Why? A man's got to be able to walk on green grass once in a while. Sure, Wilbur. Why isn't Joel down here? He's supposed to relieve me. Joel's in the infirmary. Oh, oh yes, of course. He's being operated on, isn't he? Yes, Wilbur, that's, that's right. Captain Murphy wants to know if you have any problems, Doctor, due to the emergency. Not yet. But after the operation, my patient might need an oxygen tent. I'll tell the captain. Thank you. Ready, Doctor? Yes, nurse. And he was talking a little incoherently about green grass and flowers. That's not uncommon. Some oceanauts get green fever under stress, Hal. As long as things don't get worse, it'll pass. But inform Dr. James and keep an eye on Wilbur. Maybe I should have talked to him sooner. Uh-oh. Problems. Converter section to bridge. Go ahead. We have a malfunction in the oxygen converter, sir. How long will it take to repair? I don't know, sir. All right. Get on with it as fast as you can. Time is an important factor. Captain, Dr. James wants to know if he can use an oxygen tent. Is it critical? It would help Joel's recovery from his operation. That could be a problem. Any ideas, Paul? Have the doctor move the patient to the horticulture section. The oxygen that the plants give off will help. We'll have to try reaching up for air as a standby supply. I'll try the snorkel. Prepare to send an air hose to the surface. I'm on my way down to join you. Yes, sir. How long before you complete repairs? Oh, 10, 12 hours at least. That's a big crack. OK, send the line up. On its way, sir. We're beginning to get some play on the line from the storm, Captain. Let it out all the way. Airline free and clear, sir, on surface. Good. Start pumping air. Fresh air coming in, sir. Yeah, the meter shows a steady flow. Keep it pumping full capacity. Something's wrong. Look at the needle. The line must be fouled up, cutting off the air. Unfoul it. I can't. The surface valve is broken. I've lost control of the unit. Look what's happening. The airline's reversing itself. We're losing air fast. Quick, give me those lab smocks. <coughs> uh, that should hold it till the valve is fixed. Sparks, I'll take over communications. You better sit in for Wilbur down in the monitor room. Yes, sir. I've been worried about him lately. Dr. Williams? Dr. Williams, come in, please. Dr. Williams here, Captain. Paul, open up the moon pool and have Mrs. Thomas bring all the students and get them into wetsuits right away. I'll contact Gail. She's covering that area. Why the move? It's too dangerous, Paul. We've got to get those kids out of Sea Lab. Look at Simba die. You think he can swim with us? Simba will be all right here. He can't join the class. Just keep holding your classes in Deep Diver as though nothing had happened. Keep him calm. Right. OK. You know what to do, kids. Swim out to Deep Diver. There's enough air in Deep Diver to last you at least two days. 
I thought repairs were only going to take 12 hours. That's all it will take if nothing else goes wrong. Good luck. Thanks, you too. Hey, look! Simba wants to go to school with us. Simba. Start the air scrubbers. Air scrubbers started, sir. Uh, Paul, how are the repairs? Ed Thomas is helping repair the air converter. And with luck, we'll repair that crack in the shell before the air becomes too foul to breathe. Right now, the CO2 level is rising. It's getting dangerous. There's a chance some of us might get carbon dioxide poisoning. Alert your staff. Make sure nobody is alone at any time, especially if they've shown any signs of tension. I've already taken care of that, Captain. Take him to the horticulture section, nurse. Yes, Doctor. It makes a lot of sense, uh, what the Captain is doing. What's that, Wilbur? Buddying everybody up. We start losing our oxygen, and some of us might pass out. We shouldn't exert ourselves, either. That causes us to breathe harder and give off more carbon dioxide. You're right. I'm gonna take it easy. That's Joel! He's dead! No, Wilbur. He was just operated on. We're being punished for tampering with nature. They're just taking him to the horticulture section. Man should be where he can see green grass and blue skies. Wilbur, let's go see Dr. James. We're all going to die unless we stop what we're doing. We gotta stop. Wilbur, come back here! And then he pushed me aside and disappeared down the corridor. We can't let him run loose. Not in his condition. Right. I'll stop him. This is the captain. To all sections, Wilbur Campbell is suffering from green fever. He is temporarily mentally confused and might be dangerous. Do not alarm him. If he is seen, report immediately to the bridge. We sure made that fast, Jerry. Wilbur! Hey, don't! <laughs> Reactor room. Reactor room here. What's happened to the power down there? Wilbur Campbell smashed our control panels. I'm cutting in the backup power cells. How long will our emergency power last? Not too long. We hope to repair the main reactor before our emergency power is exhausted. Al, I want you to go to Deep Diver. Take the kids up. Yes, sir. Make sure you follow the recompression schedule before you bring Deep Diver to the surface. Don't let the kids out before it's safe. But won't our repairs be completed soon? There's always a chance they might not. You don't want to jeopardize the kids. By the time you get to the surface, the hurricane will have passed our area. Just sit up there and wait for a rescue ship. I hope that won't be necessary. Well, don't let that hope keep you from getting on with it. Yes, sir. I'm going down to the reactor room. What do you want me to do, Captain? Find Wilbur Campbell before he does more damage, Paul. Now, you all were supposed to study Kipling's poem, If. Oh, uh, excuse me. Don't let me interrupt the class. Go right on. Is everything all right at Sea Lab? Well, there are a few bugs that have to be worked out. Meanwhile, I'm taking you all to the surface. We're not going. Now, Bobby, we're not going to leave our fathers and mothers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, we, don't we don't want to go. We don't want to go. We want to stay here. We want to stay here. I don't want to go. No. Do no. you want to go? I no. Don't. No way. Not while there's trouble at Sea Lab. There is trouble at Sea Lab, and Captain Murphy and your parents can take care of it, if they don't have to worry about you. But we want to help. 
best way for you to help is by being safe on the surface, okay? I guess so, if we have to. Now, the first line of Kipling's poem goes how, Bobby? If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs. The air's getting bad, Ed. <coughs> Hand me that wrench, will you? Mm. Do you feel dizzy at all? Just hang in there. As soon as we get this converter working, we'll have all the air we need. The water's come up three inches in the last hour, Dr. Williams. It's going to keep rising until the crack in the dome is repaired. Maybe our air won't last that long. We're working on it. You didn't happen to see Wilbur Campbell. No, sir. Sections report to bridge. Reactor room. Reactor room, sir. Repairs are half completed. Estimated time of completion? 90 minutes, sir. Main pumps. Main pumps. Come in, main pumps. What's your condition? Water level still rising, sir. At the rate of three inches an hour. All right. Stay on those pumps. Repair crew. Come in, repair crew. Nowhere! My men are feeling the shortage of air, Captain. We can't keep this up much longer. You hear that, converter section? We hear it, Captain. How long before we get oxygen? Maybe 30 minutes, if all goes well. Now, where could Wilbur have gone? Wilbur! Wilbur, wait! Wilbur, come here. I want to talk to you. Wilbur! Wilbur Campbell come in here? No, but the converter is fixed, Dr. Williams. Check it out. <sighs> We've got oxygen again. Good, I'll contact Captain Murphy. Converter section to bridge. Go ahead. The converter is operating again, Captain. And we'll be all right if our emergency power cell holds out until the reactor is repaired. You better get a couple of guards down to the reactor room. Wilbur Campbell was in that area. I'll get down there myself. You find Campbell. Wilbur, just a minute. Hey, Wilbur, wait. Come back. There he goes. Wilbur, this is Dr. Williams. He's down there. Wilbur? We're all going to perish, like Joel. Joel is all right, Wilbur. He's sleeping after his operation. Yes, Wilbur. He's just sleeping. Go on in and look. Everything's going to be all right, Wilbur, see? He's alive and well. You're lying to me. Uh-oh, power trouble. I'm never going to see green grass again. We're losing power and the water is still rising. Fast! Come on, come on. Time is critical. Yes, sir. We're doing our best. Give it a try. Well, here it goes. It's working. Let's keep it working. Switch in power to all relay stations. Restart all pumps and converters. I'm sure glad Sea Lab is fixed. Yeah, and the storm is over, too.
I'm sorry about all the trouble I caused, Dr. Williams. Don't worry about it, Wilbur. After a few weeks on the surface, let us know if you want to come back. Hey, Wilbur, how you feeling? All right now, thank you. Al, the Stanhope is steaming back into position above us. Will you put Wilbur through the recompression and get him aboard? Will do. Thank you, Dr. Williams. So long, Wilbur. We'll see you soon. See if you can get Captain Manton, Sparks. We're making a hookup, Captain. Good. Oh, Gail, Ed, uh, have you checked out the total damage? Yes, sir. Everything is listed and under control. Well, Captain Murphy, we're back. And we're glad you are. We have a passenger coming up. OK. We had a rough go up here in the hurricane. How about you down there? Who, us? <laughs> what can happen down here? <laughs> <laughs> 